Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Choppy. Welcome to Weather in Five, five days and five minutes on this Wednesday, June the 26th, 2019. Beautiful day out there uh, in the mid northern mid-Atlantic and into the northeast. And we've got some great weather coming over the next couple of days. Let me just, in general, summarize what's going on. Uh, it is going to be very warm. At times, it will be borderline hot. But the humidity is not going to be all that high, at least for today and for Thursday. There's always this sort of reflexive uh, forecast that comes out in situations like this where it's hot and humid, hot and humid, heat wave, this, that, and the other thing. Look, the bottom line is it's probably going to, we're going to see temperatures straddle the 90 degree mark at some point along the way. and the humidity is going to come up. But from the standpoint of summertime weather, it really isn't going to be all that oppressive. Maybe by the time we get to Saturday, uh, it will uh, get uh, really uncomfortable, but that'll be ahead of the next cold front with, that will take care of it. But look at this beautiful satellite loop this morning uh, in the Northeast. It is crystal clear just about everywhere. You've got a couple of streaks of clouds from uh, running in a very narrow line there. Big deal. You All the clouds from yesterday, well offshore. And uh, we're going to be in good shape today. Uh, lots of sunshine, no real issues at all. And on the wider satellite uh, loop this morning, there isn't a whole lot with respect to tropical moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico or uh, storminess that you see that's out up in the northern plains. Uh, everything uh, is in, in a much more de-amplified state in the, in the upper air. We are not dealing with deep troughs like we did uh, last week and going into the weekend. Everything is just kind of, you know, relaxed in the upper atmosphere. Uh, you, the trough is out in the in far west, and you've got this sort of gentle west-northwest flow that's developing, and we're kind of on the edge of this. And gradually, what's going to happen is that we're going to see uh, an upper air disturbance that's going to come down, uh, an upper trough that's going to swing southeastward, and that's going to eventually bring a cold front through here over the weekend, which is going to alter the weather for next week and bring in some dry Canadian air. Uh, it, it will be uh, reasonable and nice around here. I think that's a, a good way to describe it as we move into next week, which is the week of the 4th of July. Here is the uh, radar view as of uh, shortly before 8 o'clock Eastern time uh, uh, today. Uh, not much going on. And for us, we're not going to have uh, any issues as far as showers and thunderstorms are concerned. So just looking at what's going to be happening over the next five days, as I said, we're kind of on the edge of this jet stream pattern here. Uh, the uh, uh, flow, uh, again, you got trough out here in the west and this sort of gentle west-northwest flow, and there's going to be an upper trough, and it starts to make itself noticeable on Friday up in Canada. We're going to be right on the edge. Here's the upper ridge that's off the coast, so we're kind of right on the edge of very warm and humid conditions. Uh, that... Uh, a uh, ridge is going to weaken, and this trough is going to swing on tr through and drop down. So now, as we move into next week, uh, the flow is actually more from the north, and you are getting that uh, drier Canadian air that's going to come on in. And there will be a couple of little disturbances along the way uh, that uh, might uh, trigger off some showers and thunderstorms. But uh, as far as today, tomorrow, and Friday, the chances for showers and storms are absolutely minimal. In my opinion, uh, there's a chance I think we could see a pop-up storm this evening in, in isolated spots. Uh, and in fact, uh, once you go uh, south, further south down into uh, southern Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, I think the chances are uh, extremely low, maybe a little bit higher up in the Hudson Valley and northeast. But we're talking here pop-up uh, pop storm. Thursday, I, I'm not even going to mention it. Just sunshine from start to finish. And Friday should be fine. Maybe a late day shower or thunderstorm. We have a dis little disturbance going through. Saturday, I think, is the one hot and humid day uh, where we'll see temperatures up into the upper 80s and low 90s and a better chance for some thunderstorms Saturday night as a front goes by. Sunday, I think, to me, looks okay. 
Uh, dew points are going to be coming down, as will the temperatures. And we should start off next week. We're going to be waiting for another frontal push that's going to come through probably along about Tuesday with another shot of dry air going into the middle part of next week. So uh, all systems are go. Here are your high temperatures today, mostly in the middle to upper 80s. You can see a couple of hot spots down in southeastern PA, uh, down over toward Washington, D.C., Baltimore, get close to 90. Uh, Thursday, uh, pretty much the same, upper 80s to around 90 degrees or so. Friday, same thing, upper 80s to around or just over 90. Saturday's the one day where the humidity is going to definitely come up. And if there's some clouds, it might actually hold temperatures back. So let's say upper 80s and low 90s. And look at Sunday really fast. I got the temperatures here, upper 70s and to mid 80s. And Monday of next week, we're talking about temperatures generally upper 70s to low and mid 80s. So it was actually weather in six today, but there was so much good news. I just had to share it with you all. Thanks for being here and thanks for watching. Don't forget, download my free weather app on Google Play or on the App Store. It's under meteorologist Joe Chaffee. And we'll have our regular YouTube live stream tonight, probably at six o'clock Eastern time. And of course, look for website posts on meteorologistjoechaffee.com. Have a great day, everybody.